Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna be on the test server. We're gonna go over Falman, but I know, I know, uh, it's not gonna be another Falman video. I made one already on that. I wanna see how far we can stack up his Burning Courage skill. This will be very, very, very interesting on how um, this will benefit him because he'll be able to stack it up every time somebody gets a turn from our team or an enemy gets a turn um but not falmon okay so the the more turns they take the more damage we get so it's gonna make it very interesting on how far we can stack up his damage and how am i gonna do that you're gonna say well i had a recommendation from one of the members of my community over on discord eld eld uh, maybe um for this champion right here <laughs> one of the uncommons Froskin. he's gonna be the mvp for today's video guys uh, with this skill right here fully depletes a target allies turn meter fully depletes it so what are we gonna do with this well it's pretty obvious right we're gonna be fully depleting <laughs> the turn meter involvement not letting him get a turn hopefully and in that way stack up his um his a3 as much as we can it's not gonna it's not possible to stack it endlessly i've found um but i'll do my best i'll do my best we're gonna test it out in different areas i built out two of them two of the frost skins and in an attempt to make this as easy as possible to stack up i try to reduce his speed as much as i can so now we have savage and cruel okay but very low speed all right with kind of okay stats uh, eight thousand attack almost 314 crit damage and the idea behind this is well you're gonna be um just as slow as possible everybody else will be as fast as possible or trying to be as fast as possible and and then we're gonna try and stack up um turns get extra turns relentless sets and all that and see where that takes us okay so let me go first in uh, the spider i wanted to tr try this in the spider because basically what we have is we are getting attacked in the spider and um uh, I tried Spider 20 earlier with this one. I think I'm going to try, um, I think I'm going to try with, let's see. I, I want to try with an increased attack skill as well. So maybe, maybe that is better for the team. So let's see how this goes. We get the, the boosting attack. We have the two, um, we have the two frost skins here. Ooh, we're gonna have a force affinity here so he's gonna get be getting attacked i wanted to use somebody to give an increased attack but now that i think of it mordecai will be getting uh attack unless we go against the magic which i kind of don't want to do um let me see with mordecai i would need to give him like a a ton of health to actually get this going now that i'm trying to think about it um yeah, he would need a ton of health. He's uh, sitting at 48,000 health. He would need like 80,000 health and then Falment. To be the one tanking, he would need half of that. So we're at 35. Yeah, everybody will be attacking Mordecai, unfortunately. But I guess it doesn't matter much, does it? It doesn't matter much. All right, let's go. Let's go, and I'll just show you. It doesn't matter because I'm just going to give the buff to Falment, and then after that, I'm not going to have to worry too much about everything else. So, um... Here I can actually skip this turn. Alright. And then I do defense down. Weaken. And now I can actually remove the turn meter from Falment. Alright. Now I boost Falment's attack. And the way that Falment works, guys, is whenever an enemy takes a turn. So I guess the spiders are now basically taking turns. So that is interesting. We are removing his turn meter as much as I can. Uh, he's currently tanking the small spiders. Uh, oh man, he's gonna die. It's fine. Terminator boosted there. Maybe that was a mistake. I don't want the Terminator boost Falment. Uh, oh, extra turn. Come on. Maybe. By the way, with all the turns I took, I was able to uh, just basically take zero damage now. So, look at this. Um, we're hitting on the boss. The boss will do like a big AoE now. We took zero damage. <laughs> took zero damage there, but we're fine. Um, and then the frost skins still going. All of these are counting as turns, by the way. And it's stacking the damage by 20%. 20%, 20% every time. So now defense down. Weaken again on the small spiders. 
Not that I really need it, but let's uh, keep on depleting. Thing is, I don't want to see um, anybody attacking these guys, but they are kind of losing health here uh, because of the boss. The boss is hitting me with AOEs. Maybe if I had um, some terminator depletion for the boss, mm, maybe that would have been better. But let's see. It's basically now stacking up the turns as much as as much as I can. It's not that easy because we're getting attacked. So now, yeah. We're uh, bound to use the skill now and to see how much damage that's going to do. I think we're going to hit, I don't know how much for, uh, a couple million maybe. All right, look at all these debuffs and uh, increase attack on. Going to hit the boss. We will do 20% um, damage for each turn taken, but we won't have this. We'll attack all remaining enemies if we kill the target. So I didn't need that uh, for anything. His passive wouldn't also give me anything else. So I thought, might as well just use this. So let's see the A3 now. Oh, 4.7. 4.7 million damage with Falman. That was pretty cool. So the, the way I wanted to try this also was on, on Clan Boss. I wanted to try this on Clan Boss. I tried it on Normal. I was, try, uh, not e I try, I was trying it on Easy. Um, doesn't matter much. But I was trying it with, with her, also with White Dryanea, so she would be resetting my Frost Skin. And then I thought, why not just have two Frost Skins instead? So, um, I want to try... At the beginning, I wanted to try this guy in the leader slot, but I think... Now that I have... Uh, now that I have the other Frost Skin available, and I also have Mordecai, guys... I think Mordecai will be able to tank the stun from the boss. And in this way, my, um, like the stun from the boss will not go on, on the leader slot. Okay. So we'll have a force affinity. So the spirit will, will, will hit on, on the force guy for the stun. So we, we should be good to go. So there's the increased attack. That's what I care for. Um, keep on going, keep on going poisons and stuff. Let's deplete the terminator. That's good. Uh, we won't boost the Terminator. Because we don't want to boost the Terminator for Falmond. He's receiving 30 damage now. Uh, wow, he's getting extra turns. Um, might as well deplete it now. And see. Problem is... I have to keep an eye here on his Terminator. Just to get this where I want. Um, so now I have to deplete it. It would have been nice if I had some some heals, maybe. Mm, it's fine. It's on. Uh, we're on this difficulty, which is we, sh we should be okay on this difficulty in terms of damage. We only received like 500 damage, so let's keep on buffing ourselves up. Maybe maybe my um, frost skin will get a turn there before Falment. He should, because he's lapping him by twice basically so i've built them with 270 or so uh speed <laughs> and versus falman's 130 so they are lapping him a lot plus relentless plus refresh gear on both of them like as much as i could uh, I, I was stacking it there's there's the stun finally okay that's that's what i wanted to see i, I wanted to see the stun not go on falman because i was trying it before and <laughs> And the thing was that the stun went on Falman and he lost the turn because he, he took his turn, but he lost it. And it was a big failure uh, in my attempt. But now that I thought about it with Mordecai and the Spirit Affinity on the boss, we should be okay. There's no issues with weak kits also. So we're going to stack this up as much as possible. Um, look at that. We're receiving zero damage now. It's, it's literally zero damage because I don't see any damage numbers. He's immune, immune to damage. Um, which makes me wonder, like, if you could do this, could you, could you abuse this at all with multiple Falmans? No, right? They would eventually get a turn. There's no way that they wouldn't get a turn. There's just no way you cannot get a turn. Um, you get a huge... Um, you, you get a huge damage mitigation there, but it's only for a little bit, right? 
So eventually my team will die because the boss will be getting stronger and stronger and stronger even on this difficulty. So let's see. <laughs> Stacking this up. Um, I think I'm going to skip this guys for a little bit because this is going to take a while and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're starting to get hit by like 3k per uh, by the boss. So mm, have to be careful here. So I'm going to be talking throughout this. This might be the last uh, couple of turns that I'll have available. So we'll see uh, how much damage he's actually going to hit because I've already done 7 million damage on the boss. So I wonder with all of this stacking, literally stacking up damage uh, on what kind of numbers I'll be looking at. Um, with just an increased attack on, nothing else. Um, okay. Counter attack there. Put defense down weekend. I want to have that available at all times if I can. So that when Falman gets his turn, he'll he'll at least hit with that on. Uh, I would have loved to have more stuff like Battle, Khazar, and so on. But uh, yeah, it's just not possible. With, uh, with the minimum requirement of additionally two Sacred Order, plus the Frost Skins that I need. I don't know. It's fun. It's fun. Um, so far, at least it, I, I feel like I've been having fun with this, trying to set this up. See the big AOEs here? They, they hit for a ton. And I need the, this. That's fro Frost Skin there to get a turn now. There's the defense down weekend. Um, he should be able to get one. All right. Remove the turn meter. I should be able to get a couple more. So right now, I, I don't know how many I've stacked how many turns i've stacked so far but you see i'm getting the the refresh procs the relentless procs on the frost skins and it's working to my benefit the thing is if i run them with war master and um the life steal mastery i i could have probably run them for infinity or something um because it's just the fact that this is the the easy boss so it doesn't hit us for that hard Oh, not infinity. Okay, I, I was, uh, I was being too, too generous. Cause you see these two. Well, oh no, he has a regen set. She, she regenerates pretty nicely from her heals. Um, she hasn't dropped that much. He's been tanking the stuns, but he won't tank them anymore. These guys are too low. Yeah, they're out of the fight now. So, uh, yeah, he's healing too much because of the regen. Let's put the defense down. Weekend is gonna be it, guys. 18 turns, 19 turns. I don't know. Yeah, there's Falman getting his turn. Um, guys, before we see the hit, what you guys think of the number? I think it's gonna be around uh 10 million. 10 million. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Put this on a one X. Attacks one enemy before attacking removes all buffs. Ah, uh, there's no buffs on the boss. Damage increases by 20% for each time for each. Turn taken by an ally and an enemy. So, we'll see. Let's see the A3 in action. 27 million. <laughs> and look at the shield. Look at the shield. That is from a blood shield accessory. Uh, let's end this. I mean, it's it's obvious you, you wouldn't do this in a proper team. I mean, just, just him hitting normally would be much higher. The numbers would have been much higher. But uh, this was just a fun, fun type scenario with Froskin and Falman, guys. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun setting this one up. I think also for the Hydra, there could be some way I could get this going and, and set it up. Um, but the problem is with the Hydra is the, uh, is the damn heads. They, e even on the lowest difficulty, they, they are rough with my team. So... Um, like, look at this. I have Falman in there. And problem is the head of mischief, like stealing my buffs and stuff. So we'll see. Let's buff up. Uh, the idea here with Cupidus is that he um he just kills stuff, hopefully. But let's see. Defense down weekend by the by the Venus. Let's uh Let's not deplete the Terminator now. I want to hit something there. I want to hit the head of uh, DK there. Okay, we got resisted there. Nice. That was what I wanted to see. 
Mischief is gonna go. The other, um, the other dude should take a turn now. Yeah, the poison cloud's gonna be annoying. Other dude took a turn. There's frost skin. Oh, the provoke. Oh, that's gonna be nasty. Okay, lose my turn there. Um. What could I have done for the provoke there? I'm not sure. All right, let's get an extra turn here. We remove buffs. Poison cloud. I can't do anything. I didn't have the. Uh, oof! The increased attack is gonna be on them. No. All right. Yeah, the provoke. Ah, oh, what am I gonna do against the provoke? Is there a way for me to cleanse it? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. The setup for this one. This doesn't cleanse, right? No, it only heals. Um, yeah, maybe that's why I would need... Uh, what's her name in here? A block buffs would be needed here. I think... I think I need to think of that like a setup. Maybe like this could be like a, another video. But with the provoke, he's going to get a turn and just attack with the A1. Which... His A1 only counts as a, as a burning courage if... There's enemies from the um, under towards demon spawn and so on from from that faction. So I'm gonna get a turn now and basically lose all the all the things I was trying to stack all this time. Unfortunately, so it's not an easy setup against the Hydra because you see what happens here. And he gets a turn, he attacks uh, and does nothing. Basically, lost all that buffing. Unfortunately, so that's why I showcased it in in the normal clan boss because there's. There's so much things you have to worry about against this that I'll need a head, uh, head of mischief tank. I'll need some some kind of block buffs in there, and with two two at least um, sacred order needed. I'm not sure who I could use here. Maybe Eostrick could be replaced, but then I lose the increased attack and the decreased speed, which helps with the turns and the boosting. Maybe I could use only one frost skin here, and then maybe have something else here instead. Um, so I'll have to I'll have to strategize a little bit guys for the Hydra That's gonna be probably the next video, but this was it for today. Just showing you guys this fun combo Let me show you guys the frost skins that I have now on the test server built up They're basically one of them is built with look at this impulse set the two two set bonus 12% chance to reduce a random skill cooldown then the reflex triple refresh here uh, All of this is gear. I actually have on the account and then about 270 uh, 263 speed and the other one is built basically the same, um, but relentless speed, refresh, 270, uh, 269. And both of them were running uh, this skill here, Cycle of Magic. So now that I think about it, maybe I should, I should have done support, War Master maybe, and Lifesteal. So I could do a little bit more damage on the, on the clan boss and heal back. Because uh, that's what basically made me lose the all that stacking. But uh, we almost did like 30 million damage. That was pretty fun. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.